Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the HC Droid Eris and also flash a custom recovery image. So if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for how to load a custom ROM on the HC Droid Eris. Okay, before you begin, you must have root access first. Um, so there's a link right there in that sentence. Um, do that procedure first. Once you're done, then you can come back to this one. Um, also in this procedure, just so you know, we're also going to show you how to flash a custom recovery image, which in itself is a good tool to have, even if you don't plan to flash a ROM. Okay, the next step is setting up ADB. Um, ADB is what your computer will use to talk to the phone. So we have a procedure on how to do that. Just click that link, follow that procedure. Once you're done, you can head back over here and continue. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to flash a custom recovery image. Um, to do that on the Droid Eris, you need to download two files. One is the flash image and the other one is the Amon Ra's recovery image. So download those two files to your computer and then we can continue. Okay, so once we have those two files on our computer, uh, we need to save them to the tools folder in the Android SDK. So we're gonna grab them both, control copy, and then we're gonna navigate to our Android SDK and in the tools folder. And then we're just gonna click anywhere here and hit paste. Okay, now you'll see we have the flash image right there and the recovery right there. Another good thing to make sure is they are in the same folder as the ADV application. So long as they're in that same folder, we're good to go. Okay, next, while the phone's on, we're gonna plug it in via a USB cable. And you're also gonna go into settings applications, development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Okay, now we need to open the command prompt on our computer. On uh, Vista or higher, you just go down here and hit CMD, enter. And then we're gonna type in what's written on the site, uh, hitting enter at the end of each line. You don't need to see what I'm typing here, because again, like I said, it's written on the site. So I type ADB devices. As long as a serial number comes up, it means we did the ADB procedure correctly. So now we can continue. And there you go. We should now have a new uh, recovery image. Okay, now we can unplug the phone from the USB and turn it off. Okay, once it's completely off, we hold down volume up and power. We keep holding it. Until we get to our new custom recovery image. Okay, now we're gonna scroll to USB MS toggle. Push on it with the trackball. Once it says enabled, we can then plug our phone into USB again. Okay, now that we've mounted our, our memory card on our computer and we can access our memory card from our computer, we need to download a custom ROM. Um, so you can click on the link right here to be brought to our uh, custom ROM section. Pick a ROM that you want, download it. Okay, so now we've downloaded our Droid Eris ROM that we wanted. Uh, we'll grab it and pull it over to our SD card. Again, this is not in any folder, it's just on the SD card itself. And wait for that to copy. Okay, once we've copied our ROM to the SD card, we can unplug our phone and push the trackball to disable USB mount. Okay, next we're gonna scroll to white and then we're gonna click Wipe Data Factory Reset at the top. Press the trackball to confirm. Okay, now that it's done, press back. All right, volume down to go back. And then we're going to scroll down to Flash Zip from SD Card. And you'll see we have our 
droid Eris ROM right there. We're going to click the trackball on that, let it install, and then once it's done, we click the trackball again to reboot, and we're all set. We have our new custom ROM. Enjoy.